Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I am doing a makeup look today. It is actually a collaboration with my new YouTube friend Bianca Janelle. She has a great channel where she shares a lot of makeup tips, skincare videos, and even like beauty and skincare hauls. So if you are into that world, please check out her channel. I know you will love it as much as I do. And today we actually challenged each other to create an autumn look for a date night and gave each other a color that we had to use in our video. Bianca challenged me to use purple for a fall date night look, and so this is actually the final look. Um, I have kind of hooded eyes, so it's hard to see the shadows, but I used purple, and then I challenged Bianca to use yellow. Be sure to go and check out her channel to see how she incorporated yellow into her fall date night look. Purple is not normally a color I would wear in my really in anything, in clothing or in makeup. It actually really used to be, like growing up, purple was my favorite color. And then throughout high school and stuff, like purple shadow was my jam. And I probably wore purple clothes, I don't really remember. But these days I'm definitely more of like a neutral kind of girl. So purple was a challenge for me, something I haven't used in a long time, but it was actually really fun to create this look. Like I forgot how fun colorful shadows can be. <laughs> I stick with my like browns and that's it. Thank you to Bianca for challenging me to step outside of my box to use a color that I haven't used in years and I actually really like this look and think it's something I'm going to incorporate more often. Without further ado, let's get into the video and so you can see how I created my purple fall makeup look. So to start, I've already applied my foundation and concealer. Now I'm going in with my contour powder and I'm applying it across the top of my forehead, underneath my cheekbones, down the sides and tip of my nose, and then across my jawline and chin. I'm also drawing the line down my neck so that it softens the look and doesn't create a harsh line around my jaw. Now I'm following that up with my bronzer. I just like to apply it over the top of where I've applied my contour powder. It gives it a nice bronzy glow and softens the look. Next is blush. And first I like to use this more natural kind of bronzy blush. It creates a nice little soft line between the bronzer and my other blush. Then I finish it off with this bright pink blush. I really like to add a little pop of color, especially as we enter the winter months. I just find that my face really needs that little added bit. Now it's time for brows. First I begin by brushing the brow hairs upwards so they're all going in the same direction. And then I apply my cream to powder shadow with an angle brush. I like to use small hair-like strokes in an upward motion to create a natural look. My eyebrows are very natural so they don't ever really look totally the same and honestly I'm okay with that. Now it's time for the purple shadows. First, I'm going in with this deep plum shade and applying it over my lid. I wanted a dark base to begin. Now I'm using a lilac color and applying it on top of my lid towards the inner corner. And then I'm going in with the deep plum again to add more pigment to the outer corner and crease. Now it's time for a highlight. I'm applying it to the inner corner of my eye and just blending it in. It really brightens up the look and adds some more dimension. Now it's time for my first layer of mascara. I like to apply a few to get a really dramatic look. While that dries, I'm going to use my Pearlizer from Senegents to apply more highlight.
Now I'm using a towel to gently exfoliate my lips to prepare them for the lip sense application. I'm using this light pink shade called Pink Champagne, which is one of my go-tos. And with lip sense, you really have to apply a few layers. So I'm doing two layers of Pink Champagne and following it up with one layer of a color called Creamer. This will just give it a little bit more of a bronzy look for fall. And then with Lip Sense, you have to finish it with a gloss. So I'm using this rose gold gloss. It is discontinued, but they do have some similar glosses still available. And then of course, a little bit more of the pearlizer just applied to my Cupid's bow to give that final highlight. That is the completed look, my purple date night fall makeup look. A little bit of a smoky eye, natural lip, and perfect for going out. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you really liked it and you got some, you know, makeup tips and tricks. Or you decided you wanted to try purple eyeshadow as well. I kind of tried to stick with a more neutral, but like still kind of hint at purple on the lips. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I'm really trying hard to grow this channel and to create beautiful content that you can enjoy. So let me know what you'd like to see in the comments below and I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye.